just last video i told you you should be loading up heavily on bitcoin and related you know bitcoin mining stocks as well posting that clsk and mara calls do look good here this was yesterday around lunchtime have been telling you guys to load up on these a lot of these call options are actually up anywhere from 100 to 300 percent depending on when you got in so you know should have made a lot of money off of this trading idea as well as these other two plays ticker sisi went up 40 percent or 50 percent from this alert here and then we had ticker ap which is up big as well so make sure you tap the like button if you are enjoying this content have been showing you some really good plays and in this video i have the rarest otc penny stock in the entire stock market with a 371 million outstanding share structure but only has 1 million shares that float so this is an extremely rare setup that we have never pretty much never seen before an 8 million dollar market cap with 1 billion dollars in total assets just did 105 million dollars in revenue for the first quarter of 2023 with 750 thousand dollars in net income you can see the float is sitting at 1 million shares and you can actually i'm going to prove that in the latest 10q filing you know this stock is trading at two cents as of right now and does have an upcoming acquisition planned so this is one that's very rare also has around 1800 plus employees and i think over 90 different locations that they do own or just a lot of different plant locations in the logistics sector and much more have to watch this entire video so you do not miss this very important play guys also have a 10 million dollar market cap company that has a very nice gap to fill on the daily chart all the way to just under three dollars tiny 10 million dollar company that has established a 35 year long-term relationship with boeing which is a 113 billion dollar company they are in the defense and security sector and much more so this is a very small company that has 605 million dollars of estimated lifetime contract value as well as an additional 300 million dollars of ideas of identified new opportunities in their pipeline this is one that has a lot going on you have to see this one first off we want to talk about is emkr one i have mentioned in the past I think i first started covering it at one dollar and 16 cents has jumped up a few percent since then but this one does have some potential and a very nice gap to fill on the daily chart about to show you that right now guys also clsk and mara these bitcoin mining plays are going parabolic once again told you guys these are you know there's a lot of money to be made with this bitcoin run that i expect to last and continue to last you know basically for the next week or two at least because we do have a very big catalyst coming up and that is the biggest Bitcoin gathering in history. So we do have this happening on July 25th through July 27th, where Donald Trump will be speaking as well as Kathy Wood. Keep in mind, Kathy Wood has, you know, crazy price targets on Bitcoin. I think $3 million plus are just a very nice price target. We have the founder and chairman of MSTR, MicroStrategy Inc. Michael Saylor will be speaking there. And this is, you know, he is the chairman and founder of the biggest or the company with the biggest Bitcoin holdings, which has, you know, just around 230,000 Bitcoin owning more than 1% of the total supply. So a very big catalyst. And I did tell you guys that there is a lot of money to be made with Bitcoin and related Bitcoin mining plays, which the top ones are CLSK and Mara. And I do have calls in Mara, and these are going parabolic up 50% today. We're in up crazy more than that yesterday. So it was a very nice play, guys. But EMKR does have that very nice gap to fill on the daily chart. You can see right here, looking on the daily, does have this gap to fill all the way from, you know, if it does hold over this level right here, this resistance at 145, or just holds over just around the 145 area, just over that potentially if volume comes in could see a very nice gap fill all the way to you know i don't know if it's going to happen but you know definitely does have a chance to have a very nice run once it does enter this range and hold over it so a very small 10 million dollar market cap only 6 million shares at flow and looking at their balance sheet they do have 120 million dollars in total assets with 12 million dollars cash on hand 
at a 10 minute uh, just based on that alone they're undervalued comparing that to a 10 million dollar market cap and then you look on their investor presentation on their website they have 605 million dollars of estimated lifetime contract value in production and awarded plus an additional 300 million dollars of identified new opportunities you can see on this investor presentation on their website they have established long-standing re relationships with legacy and emerging prime contractors they have established a 35-year relationship with boeing which is a 113 billion dollar company as well as these other big name companies you can see you know they basically have been doing designing their own aerospace and defense products for over 50 years they do have a video on their website and a lot of information on their website definitely have to check it out but they are basically they have technology that basically their competitors don't even come close to so have you know extremely undervalued based on what they're doing and they do have a lot of opportunity for government and massive military contracts so one big thing with emkr they do have this very big catalyst on october 14th through 16th mcor will be exhibiting at the ausa the annual United States Army Association meeting and exposition in Washington. So this is basically a very big event that could bring a lot of eyes to EMKR and their products and technologies. It will have 33,000 plus attendees, 700 exhibitors, 150 plus sessions with including 80 plus countries so this is a very big event maybe they can secure some more contracts stuff like that get some more connections so a very key date with emkr they will be here october 14th through 16th in washington dc next stock we want to look at is the probably the rarest otc play i've ever seen or at least one of them ticker mkro monkey rock group inc which does say it is down 97% today, trading at two cents or just over that, does have their first, says initiates first acquisition to enhance their business strategy. Just came out with that yesterday. So they do have an acquisition planned and this acquisition does generate $7 million in revenue set up. They have an $8 million market cap, $1 billion in assets or just close to that. 371 million dollars or 370 million outstanding shares but they only have 1 million shares at float which is very interesting you can see on their latest 10q filing this is confirmed on their latest 10q filing as of the end of march you can see the float the public float was sitting at 1 million shares so a very small float as long as nothing has changed since then Either way, you know, the total unrestricted shares, according to this, is 23 million. So the float is probably still at one to three million shares. And this, you know, could be around three million right now. Cover a lot of these OTC plays. And just because I cover them does not mean you should buy them. I'm just giving you trading ideas. A lot of these are doing heavy dilution. But, you know, basically this one just came out and did. 105 million dollars in revenue for the first quarter of 2024 keep in mind you always add three zeros to these numbers and they came out with i think just over 600,000 or around 700,000 dollars in net income they do have that acquisition coming they're engaged in the transportation and logistics industry and they do have over 1900 employees and it does look like they have around 90 different locations in italy so a lot going on with this company the concern here is and one thing to know is for the last five years they have had no dilution you can see you know the quarter ending uh the end of the year in 2019 they had 349 million outstanding shares you can look at their latest 10q filing which is basically five years later or just over that or just around that you know ending march 31st 2024 they had 349 million outstanding shares. So that just shows right there, they have not diluted a single share, you know, in basically five years up until now, you know, since the first quarter ended up until now, it looks like they have diluted 20 million shares. So that's 20 million shares they have diluted in the last five years or something like that. And they just have done this. 
So, but also keep in mind, this is a pink current play and any of these OTC plays are extremely high risk and you should not be putting much money into these at all. Just giving you trading ideas, showing you interesting setups, but just a very rare setup that I found and wanted to show you guys right here. Let me know what you think about it. I do have one more play that I am in myself that I did have an update, you know, trading at $4 and 44 cents, extremely undervalued considering this is a biotech play, a $5 million market cap that has 500 or that has $26 million cash on hand. So basically five times their market cap in cash on hand and very minimal liabilities compared to their $30 million in assets. You can see they do have a 1 million share float. This is confirmed in the latest 10Q filing. So this is actually one that doesn't have toxic warrants, does have cash on hand, and they did just receive trading at $4.44. They just received a $14 price target by Maxim Group. So that was actually very positive. They do have FDA authorization of their IND application for their uh, fully funded clinical trial. So one thing to note with this company, with these biotech plays, usually they are burning a tremendous amount of cash filled with debt and liabilities, toxic notes and everything like that. But SNPX does, you know, is a very clean setup, but they do lack volume. So any type of PR would send this one. And basically that's all it needs is some volume and some eyes to come in does have that trial going on because you get some positive results with that but just any pr that can basically basically bring volume in we could see a very nice run with this one but they do have around 40 months or just over three years of cash best uh based on a small quarterly cash burn rate of 1.8 million dollars and they do have around just under 30 million dollars cash on hand so like i said for a biotech company to actually have cash and a very clean setup and a micro flow and an ongoing fully funded trial with FDA auth authorization is extremely rare. So I am still holding this one. I think I am, you know, just even or my average is around four four thirty or something like that, four dollars and thirty cents. We'll have to look at it, but haven't really looked in a long time. And that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about these plays, what other plays you're watching, and I will see you on the next video.